it's no accident that Twitter introduces spaces at a time when podcasting and audio is growing. You see, the social networks, and let's include Google here as the search giant of the internet, they are monitoring very, very closely the behavior of social media and search and internet users. So by watching and understanding and aggregating and analyzing that data, they really are pretty sure that any new features that they beta test and then scale up are going to be successful. So as marketing comms, senior managers in government and public sector, you also should be taking that viewpoint when developing your strategy. So let's have a look at a tweet issued by Twitter in December 2020 when introducing spaces to us during their beta test. So they say the human voice can bring a layer of connectivity to Twitter through emotion, nuance and empathy often lost in text. We see this with voice tweets and voice DMs. Sometimes 280 characters isn't enough and voice gives people another way to join the conversation. So think about Twitter spaces as a sideline conversation at a conference or a networking event. Think about Twitter spaces as an opportunity to have a conversation after a devices press conference. Think about Twitter spaces as a way to host a mini webinar and to inform people about a particular topic that they care about and that they need to know more about. The reality is, is that Twitter spaces is a new feature driven by the growth of audio and speech content. It's also being driven by a need and a desire by citizens to be involved in the conversation. So when you're thinking about Twitter spaces, it's not simply about how you're going to host it, who you're going to have perhaps on your virtual panel, but it really is about leading by listening and truly going in there with an intention to listen to the public and to allow them to have their say. I know this creates some nervousness around this sort of approach, but really the, the growth and the development of social media is going that way. We're seeing a, a drive into niche topics, niche communities, and following people who are willing to share at great length and go deep on topics that they care about. I think it's a wonderful opportunity. I think that you do need to go in with a plan and a strategy. I think that you need to undertake your own beta testing, find your feet in the Twitter spaces space, and really look at other examples within your own vertical of who's doing it well.